بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی ایٹ آف ڈیفرینشیل جیومیٹری لاسٹ ٹائم ہم نے لائن انٹیگرلز کے بارے میں پڑھا تھا اور اس کے بعد ہم نے یہ دیکھا تھا ہاؤ ٹو انٹیگریٹ ٹو فارمز اور اس کے بعد ہم نے انٹیگرل اوور باؤنڈری کو دیکھا تھا آج کے لیکچر میں ہم سٹوکس تھیورم کے بارے میں پڑھیں گے وچ از ویری امپورٹنٹ تھیورم ریگارڈنگ دی جیومیٹری آف سروسز اس کے بعد ہم ری پیرامیٹرائزیشن دیکھیں گے اور یہ دیکھیں گے کہ جو لائن انٹیگرلز ہیں ان کو ری پیرامیٹرائزیشن کو یوز کرتے ہوئے سمپل ویز میں کیسے لکھ سکتے ہیں اور سٹوکس تھیورم کی جو سٹیٹمنٹ ہے اس کو ان ٹرمز آف ری پیرامیٹرائزیشن آپ کیسے سمپلیفائی کر کے لکھ سکتے ہیں سو بیسیکلی آج کے لیکچر کا ہمارا جو مین ایم ہے وہ سٹوکس تھیورم کے سٹیٹمنٹ کو سمجھنا اور اس کے پروف کو انڈرسٹینڈ کرنا ہے سو ہم سٹیٹمنٹ سے سٹارٹ لیتے ہیں وٹ از سٹوکس تھیورم اگر میرے پاس کوئی بھی ون فارم ہے جو کہ سرفیس ایم پہ ہے اور آر از اے کلوزڈ ریکٹینگل ان یو وی پلین اینڈ ایکس از اے میپ فرام آر ٹو ایم بی اے ٹو سیگمنٹ ان ایم دین دا ڈبل انٹیگرل آف دس ٹو فارم سو ڈی فائی از اے ٹو فارم از ایکول ٹو دا لائن انٹیگرل آف دا باؤنڈری سو بیسیکلی میرے پاس فائی ہے جو کہ ایک ون فارم ہے اگر میں اس کا ایکسٹیریئر ڈیریویٹیو لوں تو ہم نے یہ دیکھا تھا ایکسٹیریئر ڈیریویٹیو اگر میں کسی بھی پی فارم کا لوں تو میرے پاس پی پلس ون فارم ہو جاتی ہے سو اگر میں ون فارم کا ایکسٹیریئر ڈیریویٹیو لوں تو میرے پاس ٹو فارم آ جائے گی سو بیسیکلی ڈی فائی از اے ٹو فارم اور یہ ہم نے لاسٹ لیکچر میں دیکھا تھا ہاؤ ٹو انٹیگریٹ اے ٹو فارم آن سم پورشن آف دا سرفیس سو بیسیکلی ہم ڈی فائی کو انٹیگریٹ کر رہے ہیں آن دس پورشن ایکس آف دا سرفیس سو دس از دا پورشن ایکس سو دس ریجن وچ از امیج آف اے ریکٹینگل ان یو وی پلین انڈر دس میپ ایکس از بیسیکلی دا ریجن ایکس اور اگر میں اس ٹو فارم کو انٹیگریٹ کروں آن دس ریجن سو تمام کے تمام اس ریجن پہ میں انٹیگریٹ کر رہا ہوں then it is the same as integrating this phi which is a one form or phi ko hum kis curve ke along integrate kar rahe hain the boundary of x what is boundary of x the boundary of x are these lines so basically this line this line this line and this line so this is the boundary of this region x or agar mein is one form ko integrate kar dun on this curve then this is equal to integrating the exterior derivative of phi which is a two form or on this region x so this is very important theorem کیونکہ آپ سٹیٹمنٹ سے بھی دیکھ سکتے ہیں دس از ریلیٹنگ انٹیگریشن آف ٹو فارمز ود دی انٹیگریشن آف ون فارم اینڈ دس ول بی ویری امپورٹنٹ ان انڈرسٹینڈنگ دی جیومیٹری آف دا سروسز سو لیٹس ٹرائی ٹو پروو اسٹوکس تھیورم آئیڈیا آف دا پروف از ویری سمپل ہم لیفٹ ہینڈ سائڈ سے اسٹارٹ لیں گے or we will try to prove that uh, this side is equal to this side start let me so start let me say pehle hum ye pehle recall karne from last lecture how to integrate a two form on some two segment of the surface what is two segment a two segment is basically a function from r and what is r it is some rectangular region 
in UV plane so this R is this R some rectangular region and basically it starts from A to B along U axis and from C to D along V axis or uh, is rectangular region pe hum ne ek function define kiya x from r to the surface m iska jo input values hain wo r se hain aur output values hamare paas m se aa rahi hain and what is the requirement on this function the requirement on this function is that it has to be differentiable aur uh, differentiable ka kya meaning hai kyunki differentiability और कॉन्टीन्यूटी जैसा कि हमने देखा था कि हम किसी ओपन सेट पे डिफाइन कर सकते हैं और कॉन्टीन्यूटी एक कॉर्नर पॉइंट या एंड पॉइंट पे कैसे डिफाइन करते हैं ये हमने कैलकुलस में देखा था इसकी डिटेल में हम नहीं जाएंगे लेकिन डिफ्रेंशबिलिटी प्रूव करने के लिए हमें एक ओपन सेट चाहिए सो आर मे और मे नॉट बी ओपन लेकिन इस केस में आर इज डेफिनेटली नॉट ओपन तो हम ऐसे करेंगे कि इस R को एक ओपन सेट में ले लेंगे सो लेट से दिस इज D एंड दिस R इज कंटेन इन दिस D एंड D इज ओपन सो फिर हम ये देखेंगे कि बेसिकली uh, एक छोटे से छोटा ओपन सेट हो विच कंटेन्स R एंड देन X इज डिफ्रेंशबल फ्रॉम D टू M एंड D कंटेन्स R देन X विल बी डिफ्रेंशबल ऑन दिस सेट R सो so R इज कंटेन इन ओपन सेट from where x is differentiable okay so this is two segment and then we saw that in order to integrate a two form on a surface we need to pull back uh, the two form so let's say eta is a two form so is two form ko hum pull back karenge using this map x upper star or uh, then we will have x upper star eta and eta is two form and x upper star eta is also a two form or is two form ko hum kaise define karenge and if we remember what is a two form uh, it is a function uh, with some extra conditions such that the it takes pairs of vectors and it gives us real numbers as output so basically up uh, x upper star eta is a two form and it will take u1 u2 uh, basically these are uh, uh, vector fields lekin in particular koi sa point lenge aap to aapke paas ek vector aa jayega so basically aap koi sa let's say point lete hain let's say this is point x1 y1 then uh, what is u1 basically it is a unit vector in the direction of u x is so basically this is u1 of x1 y1 similarly uh, what is u2 of uh, x1 y1 this is this unit vector in the direction of v x is and this is u2 of x1 y1 so kisi bhi point ke liye these are two vectors or uh, x upper star eta which is a two form it will take pair of वैक्टर्स एंड इट विल गिव मी ए रियल नंबर लेकिन ये हम चीज़ यूज़ कर रहे हैं टू फाइंड दिस फंक्शन एच एंड और अगर आप कोई सा भी एक पॉइंट इस आर से लें दैन इट विल गिव मी ए रियल नंबर एज एन आउटपुट सो बेसिकली एच ऑफ एक्स वन वाई वन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू एक्स अपर स्टार ईटा ऑफ u1 of x1 y1 u2 of x2 x1 y1 and uh, since it is a vector it is a vector and x upper star eta is a two form or uh, a two form when applied on a pair of vectors give me a real number so this belongs to a real number so h is basically a function from r2 to r or uh, m the pull back of eta which is uh, x upper star of eta can be written as h t u d v aur is h ko kaise find out karte hain aap isko apply kar dete hain on this uh, natural frame u1 u2 or this is equal to eta of x lower star u1 so this is the push forward or the tangent map 
related to this uh, differentiable function x from r to m x low star is the tangent map or uh, it will take tangents to the tangent vectors on m so this x low star u1 is a tangent vector to the surface m and similarly x low star u2 is a tangent vector to the surface m or uh, so it is a pair of tangent vectors to the surface or jab aap ispe eta apply karenge to aapke paas ek real number aa jayega and why x low star u1 is equal to x u kyunki u1 is a vector which is uh, parallel to u axis and so it is independent of v so basically uh, this vector corresponds to um, a vector on the surface m which is basically x u or in other words aap wo line le le containing this vector and this line will correspond to a curve on the surface or us curve mein jo image of x1 y1 hai it's a point so this point is x of x1 y1 aur is point pe jo tangent vector aap lenge this will be x u similarly we can define x v so this uh, uh, tangent map of this uh, map x from r to m will take this tangent vector u1 of x1 y1 to x u similarly uh, it will take u2 of x1 y1 to a vector x v which is basically tangent vector to the curve corresponding to this line which is parallel to u v axis aur is case mein u aapka constant hai so is line ka jo image hai hamare paas ek curve aayegi aur is curve ke upar jo tangent vector banega wo hamara x v hai because this is independent of u so these are x v and x u okay so how do we define the integral of a two form over x so that's how we define aapke paas eta ek two form hai usko aap integrate kar rahe hain on this uh, region x and uh, this is equal to the integral over this region r by the pull back of the pull back of eta on this region r and which is equal to the integral from a to b and c to d aap uh, basically जो इस रीजन को डिफाइन कर रही हैं लिमिट्स वो आपने पुट कर दी हैं ए टू बी एंड सी टू डी एंड ईटा ऑफ एक्स यू एक्स वी डी यू डी वी बिकॉज द पुल बैक ऑफ ईटा इज इक्वल टू ईट ऑफ एक्स यू एक्स वी सो इस चीज को हम यूज करेंगे इन द प्रूफ ऑफ द स्टोक्स थ्योरम सो बेसिकली यहां से हमने स्टार्ट लिया वट इज डी फाइव सो बेसिकली डी फाइव इज ए टू फॉर्म सो इफ इट इज ए टू फॉर्म देन आई कैन पुल बैक डी फाइव ऑन दिस रीजन आर और इस पुल बैक करने के बाद मैं लिमिट ले लूंगा ए टू बी सी टू डी और जैसा कि हमने अभी देखा था दिस विल बी इक्वल टू ई टॉफ एक्स यू एक्स वी लेकिन हमारे पास अब ईटा नहीं है हमारे पास डी फाइव है विच इज अ टू फॉर्म सो इट इज डी फाइव ऑफ एक्स यू एक्स वी डी यू डी वी सो ये हमने यूज किया है डेफिनेशन ऑफ द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ टू फॉर्म ऑन ए सरफेस और हमारे पास ये एक्सप्रेशन आ गया है नो लेट्स यूज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द एक्सटीरियर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ ए वन फॉर्म हमने किसी भी सर्फेस पे एक वन फॉर्म फाइव ली थी और हमने ये डिफाइन किया था व्हाट इज द एक्सटीरियर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस फाइव सो बेसिकली एक्सटीरियर डेरिवेटिव डी फाइव ऑफ फाइव अप्लाइड ऑन दिस पेयर ऑफ टेंजेंट वेक्टर्स एक्स यू एक्स वी दिस इज इक्वल टू पार्शल बे पार्शल यू फाइव ऑफ एक्स वी माइनस पार्शल बे पार्शल वी फाइव ऑफ एक्स यू सो दैट्स हाउ वी डिफाइन एक्सटीरियर डेरेवेटिव ऑफ ए वन फॉर्म विच इज ए टू फॉर्म अब हम इस डेफिनेशन को यूज करेंगे और वी कैन राइट डाउन दिस राइट हैंड साइड इन द फॉलोइंग फॉर्म सो बेसिकली ए टू बी c 
to D. So this is two form. So basically we can write down partial by partial U phi of XV minus partial by partial V phi of XU. So this is the exterior derivative of phi at x u x v or ye jo d u d hai d v hai ye waise aa jayega so we have this thing now i can separate these things so basically i can write down a to b c to d partial by partial u phi f x v d u d v minus a to b c to d partial by partial u phi f x u d u d v ok so basically we have this expression now if we define f is equal to phi f x u which is going to be a function from R to the real numbers so this R is basically this region and this bold letter R is set of real numbers so these are real numbers now if you take any point of this region R then at that point we can define uh, x u so at that point let's say this point is x1 y1 so x u at uh, x1 y1 so basically this is going to be uh, a tangent vector to the surface or uh, if this is a tangent vector to the surface then this is a real number phi of a tangent vector is a real number this is the definition of a one form it takes tangent vectors to the real numbers so basically this f is basically a function from r to the set of real numbers and similarly uh, this g which is equal to phi of x v is a function from r to the set of real numbers because uh, when you apply this g to some point of r then we have so let's apply it on x1 y1 then g which is equal to phi of x v so this implies so g of x1 y1 this is equal to phi of x v x1 y1 so what is x v of x1 y1 this is a tangent vector to the surface and uh, what is phi of this tangent vector this is going to be a real number so basically this is a real number so we have a function uh, f which is a function from r to capital r and we have a function g which is a function from r to this bold face r so if we define these functions then uh, this integral become so a to b c to d and uh, partial by partial u phi of x v so basically what is phi of x v this is equal to g so this becomes g of x y basically or we can write u and v because this is a function of the region r so d u d v minus i can write down a to b c to d and partial by partial so partial by partial v f d u d v so there is a mistake over here it should be partial by partial v and similarly over here it should be partial by partial v so this becomes this 
so basically we can separate the terms and this becomes this minus this now we will calculate a to b c to d partial g by partial u d u d v and partial f by partial v so it should be v d u d v so is may say hum pehle is cheez ko consider karte hain aur is cheez ko calculate karte hain so once again let me remind you what is the idea humne left hand side se start liya which is uh, uh, integral of a two form on this region x aur uh, iska jo integral hai wo humne sabse pehle is pe apply kiya aur ye jo integral hai isme sabse pehle humne definition apply ki how to integrate a two form uske baad humne apply kiya what is the exterior derivative of a one form और उसके बाद हमारे पास ये एक्सप्रेशन आ गए उसके बाद हमने अज्यूम किया कि लेट एफ इज इक्वल टू फाइव एफ एक्स यू एंड जी इज इक्वल टू फाइव एफ एक्स वी सो इन दोनों एजम्पन के बाद आपने फाइव एफ एक्स वी और फाइव एफ एक्स यू की जगह इनकी वैल्यू पुट कर दी तो हमारे पास आ गया पार्शल जी बाई पार्शल जू माइनस पार्शल एफ बाई पार्शल वी सो इट शुड बी वी है और सिमिलरली इट शुड बी वी है एंड सो so, uh, इसको आप सेपरेट कर सकते हैं सो so, बेसिकली मेरे पास दो टर्म्स बन गई हैं अब मैंने इन दोनों टर्म्स को सेपरेटली कैलकुलेट करना है सो so, बेसिकली हम स्टार्ट लेंगे किसी एक टर्म के साथ और एंड में जो भी कैलकुलेशन आएंगी हम उनको देखते हुए इसका आंसर लिख सकते हैं सो वी विल कंसनट्रेट ऑन दिस सो बेसिकली सबसे पहले हम अज्यूम करते हैं लेट इंटेग्रल फ्रॉम ए टू बी पार्शल जी बाई पार्शल यू डी यू डी वी इज बेसिकली इक्वल टू सम नंबर आई एंड वट इज आई दिस इज बेसिकली ए टू बी पार्शल जी बाई पार्शल यू डी यू नाउ वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट दिस टू calculate this and we calculate this using fundamental theorem of calculus okay now uh, we are integrating with respect to u but uh, g is a function of u and v but we are only integrating with respect to u aur isme jo limits of integration hai ye aap put karenge u mein aur jo v variable hai wo bilkul aise hi aa jayega so basically this becomes so i is equal to a to b partial g by partial u is function ko integrate kar rahe hain with respect to u so this becomes g of uv and u is equal to a to u is equal to b so basically this is equal to g of b comma v minus g of a comma v so this is by using fundamental theorem of calculus so we can write down the value of this i to be equal to g of b comma v minus g of a comma v so so far what we have done humne left hand side se start liya hum ek two form ko integrate kar rahe hain on this region x aur uske liye sabse pehle humne two form ki integration ki definition apply ki उसके बाद हमने एक्सटीरियर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वन फॉर्म की डेफिनेशन को अप्लाई किया और उसके बाद हमारे पास दो टर्म्स आ गई और उसके बाद हमने एज्यूम किया दैट व्हाट आर फंक्शंस एफ एंड जी एंड सो बाय यूजिंग फंडामेंटल थ्योरम ऑफ कैलकुलस दिस इज इक्वल टू सी टू डी जी ऑफ बी कॉमा वी माइनस जी ऑफ ए कॉमा वी एंड दिस वैल्यू इज इन फैक्ट ए टू बी 
partial G by partial U du dE. And similarly, we can uh, do the same procedure for the other integral, which is basically C to D, A to B, partial F by partial V, du dV. And we can do the same procedure for this. Lekin, uh, hum is case ko sirf aage deal karenge. Aur jo bhi end mein result aayega, wahan se hum uh, anticipate kar lenge ya guess kar lenge ke what will be the value of this integral. So, now let us assume that this curve beta is equal to x of bv. So, what is bv? What are these points? bv in this plane. So, b is fixed number and v varies. So, basically on this region, agar kon se aise points hain jin ke liye b fixed hai. So, basically this is the set of all points on this line jin ke liye b fixed hai. So, for all of these points u is equal to b. So, what is the set of all points? BV, so the set of all points BV is this line. Now, the image of this line segment is going to be a curved segment in this surface M, and uh, so this becomes this curve. So, the images of uh, these points, this line segment under X is basically this curve beta and uh, this beta is a function from some line segment or wo kaun sa line segment hai? basically uh, aapke paas jo bv points hai and v varies from c to d so yahan se aapke paas m tak aapke paas function hai and it is a function of v and it is defined as x of v v and x of vv is a point on the surface m. Similarly, uh, we can see that uh, del of v is equal to x of av. So, what are the points av in this region? So, this case, the first coordinate is fixed and it is equal to a. So, basically, this is equal to this line. Uh, this line has u is equal to a and v and v varies from c to d because we are talking about this region so basically the set of points a v are this line segment so the images of this line segment x under this map x is basically this curve gamma in case of the negative signs we are in ye hum abhi thodi dher mein dekhte hain negative signs q r so we have defined beta and gamma and now we can write down this integral c to d g of b v as using the integral of a one form so agar mere paas koi si bhi one form hai then I can write down the integral of one form along this curve segment alpha to be equal to a to b the pullback of this one form onto this interval a b and a to b phi of alpha prime t dt. Now what is beta? Beta is equal to x of b v and delta, delta is equal to x of a v. अब हम इनको यूज करके और इस डेफिनेशन को यूज करके लिख सकते हैं। So basically, what is g of b v? So g of b v is equal to phi of x v b v. So remember what is g? So g is equal to phi of x v, and it was a function from the region R to the set of real numbers. So, this means that if I have any point in BV, this means that 
that this is equal to phi of xv of bv okay so basically i am uh, taking derivative of x with respect to v and evaluating it at bv so basically uh, this is equal to phi of partial by partial v so basically uh, x v b v so partial by partial v of x at point b v so this is x v b comma v and then we can write down this is equal to phi of beta prime b and why is that because x of b comma v is equal to the curve segment beta or agar aap x ka partial derivative le rahe hain with respect to v then in fact this is uh, equal to xv so basically it is equal to beta prime of v so basically this is uh, beta of v aur agar aap iska derivative le rahe hain with respect to v then this is beta prime of v and so this is phi of beta prime of v dv and now by definition of line integral so integrating or integration of one form so this is the definition of integration of one form that we are integrating phi along this curve segment beta aur ye humne thodi der pehle dekha tha that this is defined in this way so basically this implies that integral c to d g of b comma v dv is equal to in fact the integral of phi along this curve segment beta now let's see what will be c to d g of av dv now if you follow the same steps and after following the same steps we will get this is equal to the integral of phi along this curve delta so i am leaving this as an exercise now we can write down the integral of a two form d phi on this region x this is in fact equal to c to d phi of beta prime of v dv and this is equal to the integral of phi along beta minus c to d phi of del prime of v dv and which is in fact equal to the integral of phi along delta similarly we can do this part similarly we did for partial g by partial u now uh, let me give you a hint ye hum kaise karenge so c to d a to b partial f by partial v du dv isko main likh sakta hu this is equal to a to b c to d partial f by partial v dv du so basically maine inko aapas mein रिवर्स कर दिया इंटरचेंज कर दिया इसी वजह से मेरे पास जो इंटीग्रेशन की लिमिट्स हैं वो इंटरचेंज हो गई हैं सो नाउ आई कैन अप्लाई द फंडामेंटल थ्योरम ऑफ कैलकुलस ऑन दिस सो बेसिकली दिस विल बिकम ए टू बी एफ ऑफ यू डी माइनस एफ ऑफ यू सी and integrating this with respect to u and now once again i can write down integral a to b f of u 
d du minus a to b f of u c du now what is f f is basically phi of x u so basically what is f of u d this is uh, f of u d is equal to uh, phi of x u of u d so basically this is uh, the derivative of the curve for which u varies and d is fixed and similarly we can see that uh, this integral a to b f of u c du can be written in the same way and this is the line integral of uh, some curve so basically we can write down this uh, integral of a two form on this region x as the integral of phi on this curve segment beta minus integral of phi on this curve segment delta minus the integral of this phi on this curve segment gamma and integral of phi on this curve segment alpha and so uh, what is alpha beta gamma and delta so basically uh, this is the boundary of this x and so we can say that this is equal to the integral of phi on the boundary of this region x so what is the boundary your jo boundary pe aapki curves hain alpha beta gamma jo aapne define ki thi ye aapke paas curves hain so this is the statement of the stokes theorem so stokes theorem is uh, important so for one reason it relates integrals of two forms with the integrals of one forms and it is important to understand geometry of surfaces so we will be using this theorem to understand about the topological properties of the surfaces in our next lecture now let us define a function h from ab to cd and it is a surjective differentiable function then h is orientation preserving if h of a is equal to c and h of b is equal to d so uh, let's say this is the interval ab and this is the interval cd and there is a function h from ab to cd and this function is surjective so surjective means that it is on to function iska matlab ye hua ke jo interval hai cd uska har point kisi na kisi point ka image hai so if there is a point let's say alpha then there exist so for alpha belongs to cd implies there exist let's say beta in the interval ab such that h of b is equal to alpha so this is subjective means cd ka har point ab ke kisi na kisi point ka image hai and this is differentiable and this function has this property and h is orientation preserving if h of a is equal to c so basically aapke paas jo point a hai this is mapping on to c and this point b is mapping on to point d 
سو ان ادر ورڈز آپ یہ کہہ سکتے ہیں کہ اے از لیس دین بی اور جو آپ کے پاس ایچ آف اے ہے وہ بھی لیس دین ہے ایچ آف بی سو بیسیکلی آرڈر از پرزرڈ اینڈ اورینٹیشن از آلسو پرزرڈ سو جو نمبر یہاں چھوٹا ہے اس کا امیج بھی چھوٹا آئے گا اور جو نمبر بڑا ہے اس کا امیج بھی بڑا آئے گا لیکن اگر ایسا نہ ہو اور آپ کے پاس جو ایچ آف اے ہے اٹس گوئنگ ٹو ڈی اینڈ بی از گوئنگ ٹو سی سو اس کا مطلب ہے اے از لیس دین بی بٹ ایچ آف اے وچ از ان فیکٹ ناؤ ڈی از ناٹ لیس دین ایچ آف بی وچ از ان فیکٹ ایکول ٹو سی سو ڈی از ناٹ لیس دین سی ان فیکٹ سی از لیس دین ڈی سو دا آرڈر از ریورسڈ سو دس از کالڈ اورینٹیشن ریورسنگ میپ سو اس طرح کی میپس کو ہم یوز کریں گے ٹو ری پیرامیٹرائز اور کرو اینڈ ٹو سمپلیفائی دی اسٹیٹمنٹ آف دا اسٹوکس تھے لیٹ الفا فرام اے بی ٹو ایم بی اے ری پیرامیٹرائزیشن آف اے کرو سیگمنٹ الفا فرام سی ڈی ٹو ایم بائی دس فنکشن اے بی ٹو سی ڈی سو بیسیکلی دیر از اے فنکشن فرام اے بی ٹو سی ڈی اینڈ دیر از اے میپ الفا فرام سی ڈی ٹو دس سرفیس ایم سو دس از دا سرفیس ایم اینڈ دا امیج آف دس کلوز انٹرول سی ڈی to the surface M is some curve. So this is alpha of C and this is alpha of T. So this is re-parameterization. Now you have the points that are the curve segment. They are not images of this closed interval CD but they are images of this closed interval AB. And basically you will apply H apply first. اور ایچ کے بعد آپ الفا اپلائی کریں گے سو بیسیکلی الفا آف ایچ از بیسیکلی آپ کوئی سا بھی پوائنٹ اے بی کا لیں گے لیٹ سے دس از اے پرائم اس اے پرائم پہ اپلائی کریں دین دس از الفا آف ایچ آف اے پرائم سو وٹ از ایچ آف اے پرائم دس از این ایلیمنٹ آف سی ڈی اور اس ایلیمنٹ آف سی ڈی پہ آپ اپلائی کریں گے الفا دین یو ول گیٹ اے پوائنٹ سو دس از ایچ آف اے پرائم اور اس پہ آپ الفا اپلائی کریں گے دین یو ول گیٹ اے پوائنٹ اوور ہیئر الفا آف ایچ آف اے پرائم اینڈ سو وی ہیو اے فنکشن فرام دس کلوز انٹرول اے بی ٹو دا سیم کل نا ایف ایچ از اورینٹیشن پرزرونگ دیٹ از ایچ ایف اے از ایکول ٹو سی اینڈ ایچ ایف بی از ایکول ٹو ڈی سو بیسیکلی جو آپ کا کرو کا انیشیل پوائنٹ ہے which is alpha of C. It is again the initial point from AB to the same curve. So alpha of H, which is a function from AD to M, is uh, giving me a curve and it has the same uh, orientation. In other words, jo aapka initial point tha, uh, alpha of C, it's again the initial point. So because H of A is equal to C and C goes to this point and similarly B goes to D and D goes to the same point so jo order hai ya jo orientation hai curve ki wo change nahi hui aur aapke paas yehi orientation hai curve ki aap start alpha of C se le rahe aur end up alpha of D pe kar rahe now if this happens then the integral of this one form phi on this curve segment which is re-parameterized now so alpha of h is a function from this closed interval a b to the curve is the same as the integral of phi along this curve alpha and what is alpha so alpha is basically a curve from c d to m so it is this curve like in alpha of h curve a b to m so basically we can write down this is alpha of h 
So this theorem says that if h is orientation preserving then the line integral of phi on this alpha of h is the same as the line integral of phi on this alpha. But if h is orientation reversing that is h of a is equal to d so ab basically aapke paas jo a ka image ha wo d a raha aur b ka image c a raha so in other words what is alpha h of a so this is equal to alpha of h of a and what is h of a in this case h of a is d so we get alpha of d and what is alpha of d this point so basically jo aapka starting point hai if h is orientation reversing jo aapka starting point hai alpha of h ka it is the end point of alpha so this is the starting point or we can say the red starting point or and the red is basically presenting this orientation reversing so this is uh, orientation reversing red line aur is case mein aap dekhen aapke paas ye starting point hai aur we can say the red starting point so red starting point means if h is orientation reversing then this is the starting point similarly what is alpha of h of b so this is equal to alpha of h of b and what is h of b in this case this is equal to c and so this is equal to alpha of c so basically jo end point hai bilkul jo domain ka end point hai us pe aap image lenge alpha of h ka to aapke paas starting point aa jayega so basically this is in the end point of red end point red ka end point hai lekin alpha ka ye starting point tha so this is alpha is blue starting point and this is blue end point so blue end point means for alpha this is the starting point and this is end point but if h is orientation reversing then for alpha of h this is the starting point and alpha of c is the end point so orientation is reversed and we are moving in the opposite direction so this re these red arrows gives you the direction aap yahan se start lenge aur isi curve ke along move karte hue is point pe aa jayenge and in this case we have the integral of phi on this reparameterization alpha of h is equal to minus of integral of phi along alpha so let's see how to prove this result so if h is orientation preserving then i can write down this line integral so once again using the definition that we have already done alpha of h phi so this is equal to a to b because uh, alpha of h is a function from a b to m so basically on a surface m let's say this is the surface m on the surface m we have a curve which is image of this closed interval a b under this map alpha of h and we have this let's say this curve segment so starting and ending so starting from alpha of h of a and ending at alpha of h of b now this is equal to phi of d alpha h of dt dt so this is equal to a to b phi of alpha prime of h dh by dt into dt so basically this is the definition of the line integral isme aap just agar aapko yaad ho so for any curve beta let's say this is equal to the interval 
and phi of beta prime of t dt and what is beta prime of t this is basically d beta by dt so we are using the same definition phi of d alpha of h of dt dt but uh, uh, by using chain rule this is equal to alpha prime of h dh by dt okay now we can write it down as in terms of some other variable i can write it down as c to d phi of alpha prime of some other variable as ds and so this is equal to phi alpha because alpha is a function from cd to m so is curve alpha ko use karte hue jab aap integrate karenge one form phi ko then this will be equal to alpha prime of s ds c to d but this is equal to this thing and basically we are using the chain rule uh, in fact uh, change of variable and we are using the change of variable to get this result so basically we have proved this in case of phi is one form and this h is orientation preserving so similarly for orientation reversing h we will get a negative sign in here and uh, i am leaving this as an exercise now if i have a curve psi from t1 t2 to m so basically i have uh, an interval t1 t2 and let's say this is the surface m and uh, this is psi and we define minus psi to be psi of t1 plus t2 minus t so basically this is uh, important to understand what is happening here so let's say in expanded version this is interval t1 to t2 so for any point t i am calculating minus psi of t by first adding t1 to t2 minus t so basically if i take a number t then i will take t2 minus t so basically this difference so t2 mein se main t subtract kar dunga and then i will add this with t1 so, so if i take for example t is equal to t1 then uh, basically this is going to be equal to t2 so basically psi of t1 and t1 is the starting point so starting point mein what is the value of minus psi of t1 so this is equal to psi of t1 plus t2 minus t1 aur isko cancel out kar dein then it becomes psi of t2 so the starting point of minus psi of t1 is the end point of psi so basically aap yahan se start lenge aur aap opposite side mein jayenge similarly uh, when we calculate minus psi of t2 then this is in fact equal to psi of t1 plus t2 minus t2 so which is equal to psi of t1 so in fact this is the starting point so up t1 is the starting point and t2 is the end point and uh, the image of minus psi at t1 is going to be equal to the end point of psi and the end point is going to be the starting point of the psi so minus psi of t2 which is going to be the end point this is in fact the initial point of psi and so we can write down this minus phi psi is equal to 
माइनस साई सो वी कैन राइट डाउन माइनस एक्स आई फाइव इज इक्वल टू इंटेग्रल माइनस एक्स आई ऑफ फाइव सो दिस माइनस एक्स आई इज डिफाइंड इन दिस वे सो बाई यूजिंग दिस नोटेशन वी कैन राइट डाउन द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द स्टोक्स थ्योरम इन द फॉलोइंग वे सो ये स्टेटमेंट आपने ऑलरेडी की है स्टोक्स थ्योरम की और ये हमने प्रूफ में देखा था दैट दिस इज इक्वल टू द सम एंड डिफरेंस ऑफ द लाइन इंटेग्रल्स ऑफ दिस फॉर्म और इसके बाद हम इसको इस फॉर्म में लिख सकते हैं क्योंकि आप माइनस डेल्टा को बाय यूजिंग द प्रीवियस रिजल्ट दिस विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस डेल्टा ऑफ फाइव सिमिलरली जो माइनस गैमा है दिस विल बी इक्वल टू द इंटीग्रल ऑफ फाइव अलोंग माइनस गैमा सो दिस इज माइनस गैमा एंड दिस इज माइनस डेल्टा और इसमें जो नेगेटिव डायरेक्शन है वो इसलिए आ रही है क्योंकि वी आर मूविंग इन द ऑपोजिट वे सो इस डायरेक्शन में यू आपका डिक्रीज हो रहा है सो दिस इज द डिक्रीजिंग डायरेक्शन ऑफ यू और सिमिलरली दिस इज द डिक्रीजिंग डायरेक्शन ऑफ वी सो दैट्स वाई दीज कर्व्स आर बेसिकली ओरिएंटेशन रिवर्सिंग एंड दैट्स वाई वी हैव दिस नेगेटिव साइन सो इन शॉर्ट वी कैन राइट डाउन द स्टोक्स थ्योरम इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू द इंटीग्रल ऑफ फाइव अलॉन्ग एल्फा विच इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस बाउंड्री सो बेसिकली एल्फा प्लस बीटा माइनस गैमा माइनस डेल्टा सो दीज आर ऑल प्लस एल्फा सो प्लस एल्फा प्लस बीटा माइनस गैमा माइनस डेल्टा सो दीज ऑल फॉर्म द बाउंड्री ऑफ दिस पोर्शन एक्स ऑफ द सर्फेस एंड सो दिस टोक्स थ्योरम बिकम्स फाइव integral along alpha integral of phi along beta integral of phi along minus delta integral of phi along minus gamma or minus gamma or minus delta ko kaise define karte hain ye humne abhi dekha hai so aaj ke lecture mein humne ek important theorem kiya which is stokes theorem stokes theorem relate karta hai aapke paas integral of two forms ko integral of one forms ke sath and this is very important in understanding the geometry of the surfaces iske proof mein humne use दो तीन मेन चीज़ें की हैं इसमें सबसे पहले हमने ये यूज़ किया है वट इज़ द इंटेग्रल ऑफ ए टू फॉर्म और उसके बाद हमने एक्सटीरियर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ ए वन फॉर्म को यूज़ किया है उस डेफिनेशन को यूज़ करने के बाद हमने स्टोक्स थ्योरम को प्रूव किया था उसके बाद हमने ये देखा था कि हाउ वी कैन राइट डाउन द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द स्टोक्स थ्योरम इन ए सिंपल वे बाई यूजिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ओरिएटेशन प्रिजर्विंग एंड ओरिएटेशन रिवर्सिंग curves next time we will be studying topological properties of surfaces and mainly we will be using stokes theorem in understanding the properties especially the topological properties of surfaces this is the end of the lecture thank you very much and allah hafiz